Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna talk about two things that not letting you to lose weight, what is inhibiting you from losing weight even though you are trying very much and you are eating rice cracker, rice cakes, you are eating this meal replacement bars and it's even written on it for net carbs, nothing to worry about or you drink this all natural almond drink, nothing in it and you are still not getting your results, then you are at the right place. I'm gonna tell you why. So hit the red subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And now let's see the first one, what was in all of these products I showed you, that is maltodextrin. Maltodextrin is a substance what is highly processed corn. It's made also from wheat, potato and rice, but mainly corn and corn is GMO, you can be 99% that it's made from GMO. So you're not just getting this chemical substance into this food, you are also getting GMO residuals into your food. But what does this do? Basically, food industry using this to thicken or give volume to food, and it's a very commonly used sweetener as well. And just to put this into perspective, on the glycemic index, glycemic index is showing you how a food like this one, how much impact is it creating on your blood sugar level and normal table sugar makes a 64 on that scale and maltodextrin, what is on all of this food I showed you, it's on 110. So if you consume those food like rice cracker, or this all natural almond milk, then actually they are making a greater impact on your blood sugar level than just consuming table sugar or a chocolate with sugar in it. And this is something I ran into so much recently with my clients on coaching, with people I start to coach and I look what they consume and it's pumped, like things you would never think about pumped with maltodextrin, what, as I said, creates a bigger effect on blood sugar and creates bigger insulin spikes than normal table sugar. Like, look at this, I will show you to be really relevant here. And rice crackers or rice uh, cakes, here, maltodextrin in the ingredients. This is a, should be an all natural almond milk or almond drink ingredients maltodextrin in it or stevia what uh, many of you are using most of the stevia is combined with maltodextrin here you can see and then let's see we have this super healthy snack with herbs and you would think oh this is so healthy it's better than to eat i don't know a baguette or something like this and then you go look what is in this and here you go maltodextrin again as a sweetener salad dressings and I even looked in the store randomly it's in ham it's in toast bread it's in baby formulas it's like in breast milk replacements this is the reason like some babies who are formula fit they are like swollen and blow up so much because this thing is creating a greater impact on them than sugar and then there is this fruit snacks what uh, Kids eat a one year old. I bought these things to my kids when I didn't know anything about food before, and that's also packed with maltodextrins. But most of the baby food, salad dressing, uh, and all these things, it's packed with this, even beer. So when you consume beer, probably you have maltodextrin in it to thicken it, make it taste better, and make you to buy even more. Another substance I want to pick up here is sucralose. Sucralose in most of the meal replacements, like these two bars, it's even written on it that it's only for net carbs and you have nothing to worry about, probably only one gram of sugar. However, these two have sucralose in them and sucralose is an artificial sweetener, very similar to aspartame and very similar reacting to your blood sugar than aspartame. It's basically new studies showed that sucralose makes great insulin impacts on you, like it makes insulin spikes, spikes your blood sugar, 
and even if you consume sucralose on a regular basis it's destroying microbes and probiotics in your gut and it's creating really big digestive issues for you it's really really unhealthy and most of these meal replacements protein bars protein powders and uh, different of these uh, weight loss products packed with sucralose i highly highly recommend you don't consume that I'm going to link in the description box below a few protein powders that are really good, not spiking insulin and you can use them. So check those out and really, really skip all these products what has sucralose or maltodextrin in it. And I promise you, if you watch out for this, you are going to experience weight loss improvements on your dieting journey. Yes, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share and see you in my next video. Bye bye.